How did you get involved with this project? Um, um, yeah, I, my, my agent, uh, my agent put me forward for the role um, in London and um, they didn't want to see me. They turned me down because they said I was, I was too short, um, which I don't know why I'm 5'10". But um, so, <laughs> I don't know, maybe that's short, I'm not sure. But um, yeah, they turned me down and then uh, a, a month later they, they contacted my agent and said, you know, we can see him now. So then I went up for the audition, I put myself on tape in London and, and um, yeah, and then we sent it off and then I didn't hear anything back for maybe a month or two. And then um, uh, they rang my agent and told my agent that my, you know, my tape was the only tape that was accepted in Europe. For one, I didn't even know it was a worldwide audition. Um, so to hear that was, was amazing. And then I had to fly out to LA to have more castings with Reese. Um, and I was actually casting with Emmanuel and Gay. I met them out there. And then, um, then yeah, I, thank God I got the part. Uh, for me, uh, it's very random to me because at that time I was still in college studying. And so um, a friend of mine gave it to me on Facebook and I looked at it and at first it was a little weird because I don't see auditions looking for Sudanese actors. And so I took it as a special opportunity and sent in my tape. And same thing with Arnold, I didn't hear back for a while. So I just moved on with the rest of my life. And um, yeah, they had called me. and. I met with Philippe, and from there it was, we're filming, now I'm, yes. <laughs> Fantastic. Yes. And Reese, how about you? Um, I read the script, and I had a meeting with Margaret Nagel. I just thought the script was amazing, and it's so thoroughly researched, but just a beautiful film that told the true story of these kids who walked thousands of miles to find safety after their parents were killed, and I just, I really, I, didn't, I loved the idea that my character was just as flawed and emotionally distraught as they were, um, but somehow they found each other and became this family. That's great. Now, Arnold and Kuth, you both have a personal connection mm -hmm. to this story. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, um, you know, I'm the proud son of a Sudanese dad, um, but unfortunately my, my father passed away when I was two, um, so I, I didn't get, the, get to have that connection with him. and. Um, I'm, I'm half Ugandan, my mom is from Uganda, and um, I came to the, to, to the UK as a refugee. I came when I was one years old. Um, so I didn't, have, uh, I, I didn't have the luxury of growing up learning about my Sudanese side, Sudanese culture. Um, I didn't have that at all. Um, I grew up on, on the Ugandan culture, so being in, in a film like this and getting the chance to play my mayor is like a godsend to me because I got to learn about my my father and my father's people and what they went through. Because I didn't know about the Lost Boys of Sudan. I didn't know anything about the whole, the Civil War. I wasn't aware of it at all. Um, so th doing this film, you know, is, I'm honoring my father, you know? And, and, and it's an honor to be in a film like this. That's great. Okay. Yes, and I think um, it's a great honor to tell the history of your own country and where you come from. And for me, I was born in Ethiopia because of the civil war in Sudan. And so I made the journey. And I feel like this film for me completes my journey. It's a part of the process of what I went through. And now for me to represent that and for people from my own country who are still going through this, seeing that um, their story is valid and that the world now knows because we made this film possible. And Reese, we see your character <coughs> transformed throughout this story. Um, do you feel that you've transformed personally from helping to tell this story? It's been a wonderful experience for me to make the film, um, but also get the opportunity to go to the Kakuma refugee camp at the end of filming with my daughter. Um, it, it, you can read every book in the world, you can watch documentaries, but it, nothing, uh, nothing compares to the experience of actually seeing firsthand what a refugee camp looks like. Um, over 250,000 people displaced. 12 different languages being spoken, multiple different religions, um, and all these people are coexisting with very little medical care, very little food. Um, and it's just an extraordinary circumstance that I, w I hope with the, the film coming out, people will be more aware and, um, and see that these people are displaced, but it doesn't mean they're not valuable to society. 
Um, and if more countries would absorb some of these refugees, I think they would be wildly impressed with the things that they contribute to their communities.